Well, it's the American Express this week, and boy, what a fucking field we have! Usually this tournament is two good players and a bunch of dog shit, but this week, it's about eight good players and a bunch of dog shit. What a great name for the tournament, too. The American Express. Break out your fucking credit cards and make some deposits, because we're going to make some money. If your local takes credit cards, that is. If not, bring him some cash. Let's go from the top. We're going to place a fuck ton of bets today. This is just the first look, just like last week. I ran through every number that looked good and every player that I thought could win. I just fucking bet it. That's what you do. You want to win an outright? Place a fucking ton of outrights. First, look. one of the big boys, Brooks Kepka. Saw some of you real fucking antsy guys out there getting a 26 or 25 to 1 number on him. I don't know how fucking early you had to look at the lines to get that number. That thing is gone, but he's still sitting at 20. I'm taking 20. Brooks Kepka, my fucking guy. American Express, that's a major credit card. Major winner, Brooks Kepka. Little correlation play. Lock it. Next comes a guy that I wasn't thinking about betting. I kind of got some guys that I wanted to bet, and he wasn't one of them, but I saw the number, and I said, you know what? I'm a sharp fucking better. You see a number that's good, better than you thought it would be, you just take it. That's what the sharp betters do. And it's Matt Wolf, 27 to one. I don't, you know, yeah, fuck it. I don't actually think Matt Wolf's gonna win. Fuck the sharp betters. Cancel your Matt Wolf tickets. I don't care if he's 100 to one. If he's not winning, it's not cashing. Cancel that bet. Sorry, gang. All right, next. Here's a number that surprised me. Just because the guy missed a cut last week. Abe Answer. 34 to 1. This is one of his favorite tournaments of the year. Guy places in the side the top 20 every time he plays. 34 to 1. I'm taking the bet. All right, I got another one here. 49 to 1. You might be curious who it is. I am too, I just have to look at my notes to remember. I got so many guys that I bet. Hard to keep track. Another one of our guys. Cam Champ, 49 to one. Are you kidding me? I, I, what, 49 to one, last time he was 49 to one, he got like 20th out of 30 guys. It just needs to get 20 spots higher. Cam Champ, walk it in. And now, 79 to one major champion, Gary Woodland. If he's not hurt, he should be 30 to one. We haven't seen him since the OHL. Guess what? He might have gotten better. He might have healed. I don't fucking know. I'm not a fucking kinesiologist. I don't have a fucking sports degree in medicine. Maybe he's good to go. I don't even know what his injury was. It was so long ago, I forgot. 79 to one, Gary. So here's a guy I looked at before the odds came out. I said, I want to see where this fucking guy ends up and I'm going to bet him. Aaron Wise, he ended the season strong. He's a bomber. He's played okay at this course before. I'll play at this tournament. 79 to 1 for Aaron Wise. He's a former winner. I'll take that fucking bet. Aaron Wise, 79. All right, in an effort to try to keep the card light, we're only going to add one more player under 100 to 1, and the rest are going to be long shots. Last player under 100 to 1, 99 to 1. I would like to see this a little higher, but he played pretty well last week. Septum Straka. Sounds more like a Harry Potter spell than a golfer, but at 99 to 1, who fucking cares? Lock it in. And if you want to bet first round leader, he's a guy that likes to do it in the first round. Septum Sempra Straka. All right, everybody else here is a bomb. Bomb number one. Oh, first note. Anything deeper than 100 to 1, you don't got to count as an outright bet because technically it's just a long bomb. You're not expecting it to win. So when people say, how many outrights did you place? You can say, I placed a few and then I placed a couple long shots. So we got about 12, 13 long shots, but we don't need to mention it. One of them gets in detention. In contention, you're just like, holy shit, 
We got a long bomb in the mix. What a bet. First one up, Brendan Steele. We had him last week. We thought it was looking good going into the back nine on Sunday. And then he fucking lost it. So we're going to bet him again, even though he fucking sucks. Another 124 to 1 shot here. Maverick McNeely. Good friend of my man, Joseph Bramlett. We'll get into him later. Maverick Mealy does one, Maverick McNeely does one thing really well. He puts the ball in the hole. It's gonna be a birdie fest. What do they say about birdie fests? Gotta put the ball in the hole. Mav McNeely, 124. All right, maybe my favorite bet of the week here. Missed the cut last week. Lost about 300 strokes putting. The opposite of Mav McNeely. But what do they say at Birdie Fest? You gotta get the ball in the hole. Another way to get it in the hole is to get it close on your approach shot. Keegan Bradley, 124 to one. He's gonna be getting it close on approach. Maybe he can get somebody to putt for him. All right, we got two bets at 149 to one. Michael Thompson coming off a good showing last week. Not bad at the Century Tournament of Champions the week before. Guy won the 3M, which is another birdie fest, another 149 to one player. You know we're doing it. Jim Herman, the live out of the week. He had a triple that cost him in the third round. Other than that, he was cruising to win that golf tournament. No need to live at him this week. We're taking him pre-tourney, the Hermanator. 249 to one, we got a couple ball strikers. One old, one new. The old one, fucking Pat Perez, said it last week. I fucking heard of him. 249 to one, and you've heard of the guy? You take that bet. Next one, Chris Ventura, the young dog. Good around the green, good putting. Everything else is pretty volatile. Let's just hope it's good. That's what you do when you're betting the long shot. You pray that they keep doing the thing they do good and the thing that they suck at. You hope they do well. Chris Ventura, 249. All right, now we got a special. We got 299, 399, 499. Back to back to back. It's like the fucking dollar menu at McDonald's here. 299 Robbie Shelton, 399. Can't even fucking remember. That's right. I remember now the gangster Will Gordon. And 499 to 1, the opposite of a gangster, Sean O'Hare. We got your single, we got your double, we got your triple patty. Lock them all in, one bet to go. And the last bet of the week, as it always is, let's hope he doesn't withdraw this week. Still haven't sourced out what happened. We'll figure it out. If he plays this week, last week the bookie offered him at 749. This week my local bookie's giving me a discount. 999 to one. You know what's coming. Joseph fucking Bram when I took the fucking bet. The Bram wagon is going to be full this week at 9.99 to 1. Holy shit, what a bet. Way to end strong. Good fucking luck this week. The American Express will get into DraftKings picks in a pre in a future video, but for now, place those outrights, head to your local, keep that motherfucker busy, keep him in business. Talk later. We'll say on a serious note, obviously John Rom withdraw. Some of these numbers you might have got before the Rom withdraw. Maybe they dropped, maybe they didn't. People are gonna freak out. People are gonna say it's a big deal. Here's some news for you about the American Express. This tournament isn't for the fucking favorites. John Rom. Dropping Cantlay, Brooks, even though we bet him because Brooks is our fucking guy. Finau, Fowler, Scotty Scheffler. They all get their numbers cut a little bit because Rom's gone. It doesn't fucking matter. The three most important bets you're going to make this week. They won't be touched by this news. Those are Keegan Bradley. It's Aaron Wise. And it's my pick to win this week. Rob E. Shelton! This doesn't fucking matter. That line's not fucking moving. Doesn't matter about John Rom.